Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Wednesday, May 27th, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. In the book, Principles of Life and Work, Ray Dalio differentiates things in life that give us purpose and meaning. Because in a lot of ways, those two can be completely different things. But every once in a while, those two things align themselves and operate in that sweet spot, which is where the magic happens. Just ask James Hollingshead. James is operating like a man on a mission right now, and it's pretty clear from the photos I've seen that his meaning and purpose are in direct alignment. This is by far the best version of James that we've seen so far, and I'd pencil him in as someone who we can see potentially earn their first pro victory this season. Believe it or not, we're actually two months out from the Tampa Pro, and rumor has it that it'll be the next step on the tour for emerging second year pro Justin Mackey. A few days ago, we caught word that Justin and his team were preparing to make their season debut in Tampa at the end of July, where he'll be on stage in the Sunshine State for the first time since he won his pro card at the NPC Nationals back in 2017. Justin showed some flashes in his rookie debut at the New York Pro last year, and I've heard that he's made significant improvements since then. So as long as he plays to his strengths, I don't see any reason why another top 10 finish wouldn't be in the cards for him in Tampa. I've seen a ton of athletes coming up with creative ways to keep themselves in shape over the last few months. That being said, I, I think what I've seen from Andrea Presti a few days ago was pretty damn impressive. Since parts of Italy still aren't completely open, it's forced athletes like Presti to go completely old school and use things like tires as makeshift racks as they get their workouts in. All things considered, Presti's physique doesn't seem like it's fallen off over the last few months. And if anything, I think his results are proof that more people should get back to the basics instead of always trying to reinvent the wheel with some new insane training theory. When you do it right, the old school stuff just works better. And athletes like Andrea will keep just proving it over and over and over again. Since we're already talking about cool garage gym setups, I thought now would be the perfect time to shine some light on Danny Yunin. Danny's been cooking up all sorts of creative new ways to keep himself on track since his gym shut down, including a handful of leg press variations that I've never seen before. As someone who's watched Danny's progress over the last few years, it's obvious that he's not the type to make excuses. So it's not a huge surprise that he's still finding ways to keep himself on track. And when this is all said and done, and he's standing on the Olympia stage for a fourth time in December, I think he'll look back on these sessions as key moments that help them stay consistent. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.